How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be doing a test of the Carl's Place uh, 4x5 hitting mat as well as their hitting divot style insert. So if you've been following the channel, you probably know, and if you're not following, please make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of uh, cool content, uh, videos showing you how to make a simulator in your house just like this, and also some DIYs. And one of those DIYs is my own hitting strip. So this is like a divot style hitting strip. So basically when you hit, the mat just goes down and it kind of simulates a divot, kind of save your elbows and a little bit of uh, pain you might have if you're using just you know a standard hitting mat. Let me get the ball off of there. Um, so I was thinking about the best way I could film this video and you may or may not be familiar with it, but the kind of mat that you're using in your simulator can uh, dictate a few things. Um, one of them being launch angles. So some mats that are a little bit, depending on your strike and your ability, but some mats that are a bit too forgiving um, can really kind of balloon your shots up a bit, um, especially if you're hitting behind the ball and they're kind of hiding that. So you're kind of catching the ball on the way up. Um, some that are a little firmer can, you know, kind of skip into the ball and keep that shot a little bit thin. So one of the things I want to watch in this video is the launch angle. So I think the best way to do this is to hit uh, 10 shots and record the data. And I'm just using FSX um, 2020 driving range because I'm just really familiar with how to use it. And it's good for just getting the data. It's not the best for graphics, obviously, but um, it, it's really good for recording data and comparing. So I'm going to be using a seven iron. I'm going to do 10 shots here with my DIY hitting insert. And if you're interested in that, there's a video that we will link in the video uh, somewhere here or in the descriptions down below. We're going to kind of basically be looking at what that launch angle is. So for me being a, you know, I guess maybe like a mid handicap golfer, I, I believe I currently play off of a 13. Um, my launch angle isn't going to be ideal and yours may be different. It also depends on the club. You know, one seven iron isn't the same across the board. Uh, but mainly what I want to do is use the same seven iron, same ball, in this case, a pro V one. And we're going to look at that launch angle and see what it is after 10 shots. I'll then move this mat because again, if you follow my channel, you know that this is kind of like a floating mat that I made. Um, we're going to move this out of the way. We're going to drop the Carl's four by five in, in its place. We're going to take some hits off of that 10 shots. We're going to see what that launch angle is. I'm going to give you some impressions of how the feel has changed. And then after that, we're going to, because I believe I haven't unboxed this yet, so I'm going to get this unboxed. Um, I believe that it is his hitting mat, and then you can take out the insert that's there, which I believe is going to be the same material. We'll find out soon as the actual hitting mat itself. And they conveniently make their own insert that we're going to pop into its place, and we're going to do 10 shots with that. Look at the data, see what the launch angle looks like. And again, being, you know, I'm not a pro or anything like that. Um, I'm going to have some shots in there that probably aren't going to be good for data. Obviously, if I'm thinning it, we don't want to see that. It's not really going to be the mats problem. Um, I'm going to try to just focus on delete the bad shots and just get 10 of shot, 10 shots that I think that I delivered the club well and normal for me. And we'll look at that across the board. Um, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start the video off doing 10 shots with my own uh, custom DIY insert and record that data. Again, I'm going to be pulling the shots that where the mat did not come into play or they're just god awful. So that way we just get just the data we want. Um, also, before we start this off, please make sure to that you are subscribed, liked, and comment down below if you want to be entered in a giveaway to win the Carl's custom DIY insert. Um, and you can use that if you build a mat like this, uh, essentially just cut out the right dimensions, drop it right in, maybe with a mat you already have, or if you decide um, after the video to get the Carl's Place 4x5, it obviously is made to drop straight into that. So I'm gonna get started here, 10 shots, and we'll see what we got. Okay guys, so I got the 10 shots done with the DIY hitting insert, and I got the data recorded. Um, as suspected, taking too much time off from this sport, I had to scrap a few shots, not too many. Um, and I have the pin set at 150 yards. For me, uh, seven iron, usually I hit to about 155. 
And as you can see, my average launch angle across the 10 shots is 22 degrees, which I'm sure some of you that you know are a little bit into that realm know a little bit more. I believe 17 to 19 degrees is ideal for a seven iron. But again, all seven irons are a little bit different the way you deliver the club. The important thing is to see how I personally hit on all three and to see if that'll help you make your decision. So um, I can see my carry is averaging 148 and with a 156 total. So I mean, honestly, not too bad. My spin's obviously lower than I would like it, my backspin, um, but you know, I'll work on that another day. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roll up this mat, I'm gonna drop in the Carls, and we're gonna get 10 shots recorded with that and see how that data stacks up. So hang tight. Okay, so as you can see, I just got the mat all pulled aside. I decided to leave these uh, gym tiles in place just so the ball has somewhere to land. It's not landing on my hard floors. And I can already tell how much more echoey it's getting in here, so apologize for the, uh, the feedback. So let me just get this open. And again, I haven't unboxed this at all, so this is exactly how it came. The hopes is it's gonna come out of here and lay nice and flat. All right, looks pretty good. Nothing else in the box. Oh, and just as I suspected, uh, this is their little hitting insert that comes with it. And I can tell you it is made from the same material as the rest of the mat. It looks actually really good quality filming this by myself so I can't see how close I am to the camera. But yeah, it's got a nice, you know, amount of um, artificial turf on top and this nice, really soft foam pad. I used to use a Country Club Elite and it was like killing my elbows. And this looks promising over that one, especially the foam just being a lot softer than I remember from the Country Club. And then you can see on the back of the insert, you have um, a rubber tee hole. So if you wanted to put a tee in, three separate locations, um, you can do that. So that's pretty cool. So let me get this laid out. And I'll do this part off video so I can figure out the best placement for it. Be right back. Okay, so I got it laid out. Um, I kind of just used my old cutout to line it up to where center is and made sure the Launch Pro is aligned correctly. Obviously one thing to consider if you're using a Launch Pro as you can see, I had to use the extra piece of, or the extra insert, the divot style insert to prop my Launch Pro up on that same distance. So you're gonna have to kind of figure something out for that um, if you're using that. And it laid out pretty flat. I mean, maybe a little bit on the corners. It hasn't unrolled yet, but it probably just needs more time out of the oven. I also found this rolled up inside. And see what it is. Okay, so basically, like I was saying, those, those uh, three holes, you actually have three rubber inserts. Throw that to the side. And also some plastic tees. So it's really cool. So you can put these three rubber inserts into the three corresponding holes and you can use the provided tees or, yeah, they're just the uh, size of a regular tee. So you can use your own tees. And that's kind of nice because if you want to tee up your driver closer to the front, you have a forward hole for that, um, obviously center or back. So yeah, other than that, just three inserts, some long tees, some short tees, so really cool. All right, let's get this test started. We're gonna do 10 shots now with the Carl's um, four by five hitting mat, and we'll check the numbers. Be right back. All right, so I'm all set up. Same parameters, 150 yards, same club, same ball. Um, everything is lined up. And I've also made a custom club in FSX 2020 that just is basically labeled that I'm using the Carl standard uh, insert that comes with the four x five hitting mat. I'm gonna do 10 shots, get the numbers, and also give you some impressions on, you know, what I think about feedback from uh, the club, if the mat is sliding around and moving, because as you can see, it's on some hard, well, they're tile, but some hard tile flooring, um, and just kind of stability and overall things like that. So I'll be right back. Actually, let me just hit one shot here to start this off. The red line you see up there already is because I made the color of the last 
DIY insert red, and then this one I switched to green just to keep better track. Feels nice under the feet. It's got like a little squish to it. As you can tell, it's a lot louder in here. Oh, that's a good one. Get in. Just flew right by it. To keep the video nice and short though, again, same process. I'm gonna do 10 shots, pick my best. On that first hit, that actually felt really nice. Like, it kind of moved through the ground. It didn't feel like it gave out too much. And it definitely wasn't hard like some of the other ones I used before where if you're like slightly behind the ball whatsoever, you can just feel that it pump the brakes and just take all that off of the club and kind of send you, a, you know, a low piercing shot and hurt your hands. So, all right, let's, let's keep moving forward and we'll get you 10. I'll be right back. All right, so I just got finished hitting 10 shots with the Carl's 4x5 um, hitting mat with the standard hitting insert that's made out of the same mat material that comes with it. And just kind of wanted to share my impressions with it so far. So one thing I never really noticed with using mine, because it's kind of, you know, I've been using it for a year now. Um, I didn't notice, like, you know, the standing surface of it, obviously being that one inch thick gym mat, um, it's a little more firm and also the the artificial turf putting turf that sits on top is about three eighths inch thick So I never really noticed how hard of a surface I was standing on it doesn't necessarily bother me But standing on this is is I, I actually like the the squish that this has I mean it it really feels kind of like you're walking on it has that same kind of give as at least the grass in Arizona uh, It kind of has that same give um, as actual grass, which I really like. And I feel like it makes it so I'm a little more connected to the mat that I'm hitting on. Um, whereas the harder one, I guess you could slide out just a bit. I mean, I, I also hit in sneakers most of the time. I'm actually wearing some soft spikes for this. Um, so that was one thing I noticed. Uh, two is with the artificial putting turf that I use, it leaves a green residue. A lot of them kind of do. And that's kind of why I've been wanting to go different avenues and look for something else that maybe doesn't do that. It's not a big deal. I mean, it wipes right off. I've used some before where it was like, it like dyes the club and I had to really like scrub it off of there, but this one doesn't leave anything. So no weird green dye, fuzz, residue, like plasticky stuff on the bottom, which tells me it's a, it's a really good uh, quality turf. Um, the insert itself, like I said, I probably should have given it a little more time out of the oven. Um, because after every shot, I had to kind of step on the center to make sure it was flat. And I wanted to do that so I wasn't getting false readings and there wasn't like a little bit of, you know, air trapped under there that's going to give it more give uh, than normal. Um, so, like I said, I, I think that's something that's going to work itself out at, at, as it, uh, it settles. Uh, but it wasn't too big a deal. I just made sure I step, stepped on it and I kind of played the ball a little bit closer uh, to the edges. Um, the other thing was movement. So... With these standalone mats, and I've used one before, the material that's like the rubber material or the underlayment was, has been like slippery. So when I'm using these things or I've used these things, uh, they slide all over the place and you have to like constantly readjust, which would be an absolute pain for like the Launch Pro uh, because it's, you wanna keep it in a stationary spot. And I'm actually surprised this didn't move at all. I don't know if it's because it's Butt it up against this uh, gym mat here, and hopefully all my weight's going that way, so it's kind of stopping it from sliding. But no, I didn't move. I didn't feel it moving in my backswing, even shifting my weight back. I didn't feel any any movement there, so it just felt nice and stable, and everything step, stayed right where it was. I was kind of afraid I would have to fiddle around with the, uh, the Launch Pro if it was getting pushed over, but none of that happened, so uh, that's pretty awesome. So I got my 10 shots recorded here, and... I don't want to like spoil it too much. You can already see the data back there anyway, but uh, let me swap this out, drop in their uh, divot style hitting insert and kind of give you my impressions from there. And then we'll check all the numbers at the end and see what we got. Uh, I am happy to say though, these last 10 shots, I had to scrap maybe two. Um, the first one was a little messier than that. So maybe I'm improving. Um, all right, let's get to the next one. All right, I got it all swapped over um, to the Carl's hitting insert. I went into FSX 2020. I made a custom club, just labeling it this, again, to keep that data separate. Um, putting it in here took a little bit of finagling at first, just because this is such a thick nap of artificial turf. You kind of have to just get in there with your fingers and kind of level it out a little bit. Uh, but it sits nice and flat, so I'm obviously not going to have that kind of crowning thing I had to step on uh, with the previous insert that's now my new uh, launch pro prop 
Um, but initial impressions of it, you know, it looks nice and flat. There is no holes for tees or anything like that. And just to notate, they offer two of these um, divot style hitting inserts. I believe a soft and a softer, which I really like because you don't want anything that says firm on something that you're, you know, delivering a club to. Um, I can't remember fully which one this is that they sent me, but I will put the link to it and notate uh, in the description which, which one this actually is. I do notice, you know, right off the bat that compared to mine, mine has kind of like a, a memory style foam. So when it, it gives, when you hit, it slowly returns. Um, not so slow that it's not ready for the next shot. It just kind of gives and then slowly springs back to where it was. This one is a uh, kind of a more spongy type foam and it kind of comes back immediately. So that's going to be something interesting to see if that affects the numbers at all. So I'm going to get, same process, get 10 shots on this one and tell you what, what I think. Um, I'll just hit the first one, give you initial impressions. As you can see, there's a green line from the last, the, uh, that insert. I'm putting them all different colors too to keep better track. And on these, just to notate, so they have uh, adhesive on theirs where you can stick it to the ground, which might actually help to keep the mat in place as well. I, I didn't do that. Um, because as stated in the video, I'm going to be giving this exact insert to one of you um, in the giveaway. Uh, but it shouldn't matter. It's wedged and they're so tight and the mat itself isn't moving that I'm not too worried about it. So let's give it a try. My launch pro will pick it up. There it goes. a little on the heavy side but not too bad all right and we're on the green so I will see you guys hopefully in just nine shots from right now all right guys so I just finished hitting 10 shots with the Carl's um, divot style hitting insert and got all the numbers for that so we're going to kind of go over the data uh, before we move on to the data portion I just want to thank you all for watching if you watch this far and just talk about you know the reason why I wanted to do this review is because I have never been happier. I had two other hitting screens before this and they were nowhere near as awesome as this Carl's one has been. I mean, like I've said in my other videos, I watch movies on here. It still has a very nice, it projects a very nice image. Um, and I just couldn't be happier. I mean, I'm surprised this thing isn't just absolutely mangled after all the people that have been over here in different levels of golf are hitting. Uh, but as always, use a clean ball. Don't use old scuffed up balls. Um, make sure your clubs are clean because those kind of things will, you know, hinder how, how uh, long they last. Um, another thing I've been happy about is the Optima uh, GT1090 HDR short throw projector that I've talked about before. One thing I noticed, because I know I'm getting beamed with a uh, projector light right now, uh, but one thing I noticed is, I mean, I'm standing probably two feet from the screen and just moving about three feet away. It's projecting the image perfectly. No shadows or anything like that behind me. I don't know why I did that. Um, so overall my setup, I've been extremely happy with the Carl's, uh, DIY screen that I was able to build to my dimensions that I wanted and very happy with the Optima. Um, but put that aside, let's move on and we'll check out the numbers and see what happened. All right. So let's take a look at the numbers and again, I'm using FSX 2020. This is good software. Again, it's not your go-to for graphics. Like if you want really good graphics, check out FSX play or, uh, especially GS pro the graphics on there. Are seriously awesome. But this is just an overview of all the shots. And again, I've, I've made sure to label them so I can differentiate which hitting mat insert I used. So this is just an overview of like the, um, the spread of each shot. And you can see they're all pretty much in the same realm. And it looks like my total average in the gray here is 155 yards, which again, that's what I, it's exactly what I play my uh, seven iron to if I'm out on the course. So it's good to kind of see those numbers translate over when you're using a simulator. But let's take a look at the table view of the raw numbers. So if we go to the top, the red, this is gonna be the one that is my own custom DIY hitting insert. And you can see we are averaging uh, 22 degrees. Here in the bottom is gonna be your average over all your shots. So 22 degree launch angle on this one. Um, I guess spin would kind of play into that as well on you know the, the hardness or softness of the hitting mat you're using. 
So spin, we'll just call it 5,000. And then uh, total is 156 for this one with a 26 foot average proximity to the hole, which again, I'm no pro, so that's gonna have to do for now. Let's move on over to the Carl's hitting mat with the stock insert that comes with it. And again, I really liked that one, that using that mat because of the squish that it, it had just on standing. And then as far as like delivering the club, I can't honestly say I noticed that much of a difference over my uh, divot style one. Um, yeah, I just didn't really notice that much of a difference and I was really trying to make sure I, I kind of filled that all out. So we are at an average of 122.1 oh, degrees launch angle with that one. So 22 average on mine and 22.1 on the stock Carl's 4x5. And we have a total of 155 yards. If you look at the carry and the total on both of these, I mean, they are like almost dead on. So while I'm not playing my best golf, at least I'm playing consistent golf, um, I should say. And then, not that it matters, but proximity to the pin, 24 feet, six inches. So a little bit of an improvement over here um, on my DIY. But again, that has nothing to do with the test, just kind of pointing that data out. And finally, here are the 10 shots for the Carl's um, divot style hitting insert. So you can see again, we have 21.4. So we actually came down a little bit more on the um, launch angle and ball the spin is up on both carls over my standard it could just be because i started with that one i mean it's not too drastic 200 rpms ish is not really that big of a deal um, and then we got the same carry numbers we got 155 total 147 carry and our proximity to the pin is the exact same 24 feet 5 inches on average uh, which is almost exactly what carls was and both were slightly a little bit better um, so that's really cool to see. I mean, obviously I, you know, got to work on my swing a little bit more, but I'm able to put, uh, put the club on the ball enough to do tests like this for you. And I think it's better to have somebody, um, like myself because I kind of cater to more of the average golfer, but yeah, those are the numbers. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys one more time. You can pause at any point if you want to look at things and make fun of me, do whatever you want. <laughs> But I'm actually like taking as much time off as I have. I'm, I'm really happy with these numbers and I'm happy with the result. Um, I'm going to cut from here and then I'm going to do a closeout video just explaining my thoughts on both. All right, guys. So before I close this video out and give you my final thoughts on the Carl's 4x5 hitting mat and the hitting insert, um, I thought, you know, with the Waste Management Open just coming up here, Super Bowl weekend, uh, what better place to kind of showcase the the Carl screen with the Optima GT1090 HDR projector on GS Pro software uh, with my Bushnell Launch Pro. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is Hole 16 at TPC Scottsdale uh, where they host the Waste Management Open. And this is just giving you like an overview of how awesome GS Pro software is and like the graphics. I'm from Arizona, so I'm very familiar with this course. I've been standing in this area before. Haven't had a chance to play it yet, but hopefully soon. But like with the mountains in the background, it's got the grandstands that, you know, get full of people. There's sound effects. I don't know if the mic's picking them up, but like birds chirping. And then when you hit the green, I believe people cheer. And if you miss the green, I think you might get booed. So just like you would on the real course. But just the overall detail. And with the lights being this bright for filming, it may look a little washed out. But I'm telling you, the, the picture is absolutely awesome. They even got the little garbage truck tee box markers. I mean, the flag blowing in the wind, it's, it's really cool. So I'm gonna hit a shot here just to kind of show you GS Pro and it's on practice mode. So it just resets back to the tee box. And that's another cool feature. You can practice wherever you want. So we got 114 yards. Let's see if I can get cheers. It's a little thin, that should hit the green. Oh, not my best. And then you get the cheers from the, the grandstands. That's really awesome. Let me hit one more. That one was a bit thin. I don't want to make this a GS Pro video, but it's hard for me to not talk about this software. It's better. Oh, get up there. Short. All right, to not take away, let's get back to the video and I'll give you my final thoughts. 
All right, guys, so just to give you my final thoughts on the Carl's hitting mat 4x5, and I just took the hitting insert piece so I'm not like lugging that thing around because it is it does have some good weight to it. I um, just want to give you my final thoughts on it. So what do I think about the Carl's 4x5 hitting mat? Um, I actually really like it, as I kind of discussed uh, earlier in the video. I really like how it feels under your feet. It's stable. It doesn't slide around. As far as how it feels hitting the ball, I mean... I thought it felt really great. I don't see this being one of those mats that's so dense and hard that it's like fatiguing. Um, I know I didn't cover all the specs on it, but links are down below, check it out. I'm sure they have the thickness and you know all, all the information you would need for that. As far as the divot style hitting insert, I actually really liked how it felt over the one that I made. I wonder if it's just maybe the, the dense foam, it just felt a little more clean when I hit the ball, like it just didn't give as much as mine. So that's one thing to consider. I obviously put back all the turf because it was getting very echoey in here. Um, and that's another benefit of having this much turf around it kind of in this big room with vaulted ceilings, it kind of eats up some of those, uh, some of that feedback. So, you know, again, the hitting insert, I really liked it. Um, but as promised, I'm going to give this away to one, of, uh, give this away to one of you. Uh, watchers, as long as you are subscribed, you like the video and you comment something down below, um, please feel free to comment like what you would like the next video to be. You want to see me play some GS Pro and embarrass myself? I can do that for you guys. Uh, maybe I'll do a tournament in here with my wife and uh, you can see what her swing's about. Um, but no, I mean, I really like this one. I'm going to box, put this back in the box and mail it out to one of you uh, lucky winners. And as far as the residue, I actually didn't check that. So I, again, I like over mine, it doesn't leave a green residue on the seven iron. Let me just check since I used it last on this. And it's, I mean, it looks like I polished this club. It is squeaky clean, no green turf buildup, dye, anything like that. So quality insert and for the price, like if you wanna go the DIY route and follow my video where I show you how to make one similar to what I have, and you can pick your own foam and do your own, you know, trial. Uh, but for the price of this, I believe they're 135 Again, just check the links. Don't hold me to that. But that's a really good price because I bought one of these before from another company. It was like 230 bucks for pretty close to the same size. So um, really like it. Again, really appreciate all of you sticking around and watching this. And I look forward to shooting the next video. And I'll see you guys around. Bye.